This is 202-5. Um, will be a guilt out of uh, a sow we call Harley. That sow is a um, rent money, woolly legs, an Alaumi's mother. And uh, uh, so the grandmother of this pig would have been the third overall purebred influence at Expo. Uh, the mother of this pig and her first litter of heavy hitters, we have a boar that we're uh, breeding some sows to, as well as uh, there's a pair that have been shown already that uh, were uh, reserved grand and third overall uh, this weekend. Um, we love that litter of pigs, and uh, this litter is, is blowing them away in terms of quality. These game times, I think, have a, a very, very bright future, um, and the light crosses out of this sour are, are certainly fun. Yeah, this litter is going to be fun to, to talk about. And this guilt, she's finally starting to show herself off. And I, I'm really glad that she's going to because uh, this is a unique looking one in terms of just skull shape and, and just uh, the length that she's got from, from her jawbone back to her shoulder is so long. She's so shapely up high. Uh, got a crazy amount of fur tied on to her. She's got a hind leg that's really appropriate in the way that it bends. And uh, just studying in on this, this pedigree, uh, we just got done looking at this boar uh, that Doug is talking about. And that thing's incredibly good. Um, comes from a litter that's deep. So this sow's obviously got an ability to generate them and then tying into game time on the top side there. Uh, the game time, we've had quite a few of those too, and I like those pigs. Game time's mom is one that Addie T showed uh, that we got uh, from Tim Heron at the she sale that ended up being fourth or fifth overall at, at OIE and sold for a lot that Laird got. And she's actually put multiple boars in stud there at Laird's that are generating well. So I think uh, genetically there's no question marks. You study the, the depth of this litter, the depth of the mom's last litter, and then just what's on the top side. And uh, I just don't think there's any questions from this one genetically. It matches what you see uh, here walking around on the carpet. I think a guilt that's very good out of a very, very good litter. Yeah, good pig, and, and we talked about the, the mate sister there going to she sale, uh, and, and I would venture to guess that's a five-figure one in my opinion, uh, and every time Doug lo loads up there to go to Wellston, it's always good, and, and if you listen to guys, um, you know, throughout time and, and study your history lesson here from a perspective of, um, you know, having maybe a little bit of that greener litter mate sister uh, that can kind of sneak up on you, whether it's in the show ring or in the sow lot. Uh, I see that in this Dash 5 guilt. She's neat looking. Uh, JD alluded to, you know, having the aesthetic value of that hair dripping off of her, whatever you want to say. She is wild looking from the side. Awesome in terms of her length of hip. Real, real neat one in this uh, Dash uh, 5 guilt. 